the first two Alice lessons, you learned about the Alice environment and how to add objects to your 3D world. And you finished your fish and shark setting up the scene, I hope, and turned it in. We're going to come back to that program later on in this chapter and get the programming part finished so that it actually does the entire section. But some of the coding is a little bit more complicated, so we're going to start with a simpler program and just get used to how to drag the tiles and make your objects do things. So maybe you've seen this program already. Watch the video. This is what you're going to program. Let's take a look. That's what your program is going to do. Before you even get started, it's good to write down the steps. What are the steps of this program? So over here in Word, I'm going to write down the steps. I encourage you to do the same thing. You can open up a Word document, or if you like to handwrite, you can just take out a piece of paper and write down the different steps. So we want to go kind of step by step. We talked in our other lesson about how to do instructions, so that our instructions need to be really clear. So we need to know what the task is so we can write really clear instructions. So we're going to start and stop this video and write down all the steps. So the first thing that happens is... Okay, so we see that the cat is going to move forward just a little bit. Cat moves forward. The elephant turns to face the cat. I'm going to use simple vocabulary. Some of these methods that the, that it actually will be able to find in Alice. Okay, then the elephant says, away with you. Okay, the cat backs up or moves backward. Cat moves back. Now I'm going to just keep going and I would encourage you to, instead of just following what I'm doing, Watch the video on your own and make up your own list, and then we'll compare our lists when we're both finished, and we'll see if we agree on what the steps are. I got all the way through the video and I came up with 14 steps. How did you do? I used things like cat resizes, elephant says, moves forward, moves backward, turns to face. Those are all things that we're going to be able to find in Alice in the methods. Now that we have an idea, we know what our objects are, an elephant and a cat. We know what the steps are. These are going to be the methods that we drag in makes our program. So let's get into Alice and we're going to set the scene and then we're going to program it. Now, you can have some flexibility. If you don't want to use an elephant and a cat, maybe you want to use two different objects or add some scenery in the background, some different props. So go right ahead. You can set up your scene however you like it. I'm going to minimize this window. 
minimize my steps, and I'm going to get into Alice. I'm going to select the grass, and depending on the objects that you select, maybe you want something other than grass, and set up your scene. If you are going to do the elephant and the cat, you can come to search. I can find a cat here, whichever one you want, and I'm just going to name it cat, something really simple. I can name it Bob, and I'm going to search for an elephant. Pick one, name it, I'll just name it elephant. And it's kind of big, so I might resize it. You can stop the video and set up your scene if you want to add props, whatever objects you want, and then meet up with me when you've got your scene set. I've got my scene set up. I kept it really simple. I've just got my elephant and cat. Hopefully you have your scene all set up. I'm going to click on edit code and I'm ready to actually drag the tiles over and get the code. Now you don't see very much right now. That's because this has been selected. I want the elephant and I want the cat. And notice when I select them, I get a whole different set of methods. I can also click here and see what I want. So if it's hard to click over here, maybe you have a lot of objects, you can start over here. So now I'm going to kind of split my screen. I want to have Alice open, and I also want to have my Word document open so that I know what the steps are. So let's just my size, my Word document. Okay, so the first thing is that the cat is going to move forward. So let's select the cat. It's already here, and I'm going to find Move just going to drag it. And I'm going to make some choices. So I want to move forward and I can decide how far I want to move forward. If I want a different number, then you can select decimal number. And maybe I want it to go forward too. So I can just type it in. Now every time you do a couple of lines of code, you might want to go ahead and test it. Does it do what you want it to do? So instead of doing all 14 lines of code and then trying it, we're going to do what's called incremental development and do a couple lines at a time. So let's just run this and the cat move forward. Did it move forward enough? If I liked it, I can keep it. Maybe I want to modify it. Two wasn't enough. I might choose to do four instead. I'm going to test this. Okay, I like that. That four was a good number for me. And you have to pick the number that works for your program. So when I know this line of code is correct, I can come to the next line. The elephant is going to turn to face the cat. So now instead of cat, I'm going to come here to this object chooser. I'm going to pick elephant. And now I want it to turn to face. I'm going to look for this. And here is a turn to face. Drag it up there and it asks, what should it turn to face? Well, I'm going to have it turn to face the cat. Now the next one is the elephant is going to say, I wait with you. So I'm going to stay on elephant. I'm going to select say, drag it over here. And I do not want hello. So I want a custom text stream. And I'm going to say, I've got a few lines of code. I'm not going to go ahead and check it out. It's working pretty good. The next one is the cat is going to move backward. So I'm going to select the cat. I can either click here or I can come here and select it. And I'm going to go to move. And I'm going to pick backward. And I know that it went forward four, so I might want to go back four. Four isn't here. I'm just going to. So I did the first four steps. Now I've got ten more to go. I'm going to let you work on it on your own and go ahead and see, do the best you can. The next one is going to be the elephant. I'm going to have him turn to face and you might notice that one of the choices is the camera so I can have it basically look at me. And let's see if it did what we wanted it to do. First lines of code are going to look like this. You've got a few more to go. Now you can also have some liberty in what you want the program to do. Just like you could have picked two different characters, you should still follow the same basic story. If you want to have a different ending or add to this ending, 
you can have you can change it up just a little bit but you should stay fairly true to this story and we'll meet you at the end now I've got my program almost finished I've got 14 lines of code here I'm gonna run it and see if I'm following my story notice that the cat doesn't really quite go all the way off so I have a good start here but I can make little modifications as I go along and if I've been testing it as I go I'm kind of making sure that every few lines of code I'm good so I've got cat moving forward 10 and I know that's not enough so let's try 15 pretty good so I have completed my program before I turn it in I want to add some comments so I can identify that this is my program what it's called and maybe even include the date if you look down here at the bottom at your control section you're gonna see here in green is a comment and all you have to do is drag the tile like to drag the other tiles I'm gonna put it at the top and the first thing I'm gonna do is put my name so I'm the programmer you can use the word program or not but put your name and this needs to be included on every single program. I'm going to drag up another comment, and this is going to be the name of the program. So this is Chapter 1, Lesson 3, and I can also say that it's the elephant and the cat. So you want to be pretty specific here, because you're going to have a lot of Alice programs by the end. Something else that can be helpful is the date. So you might look back on this in the future and say, well, when did I do that program? And we're going to be doing it today, which is the 8th. So include the date. So you need to have at least these three. You can always have more comments than this if you'd like. So halfway through, if I wanted to say something like, um, this is where the cat gets bigger. So I could come right here to its resizing and I could say, cat gets bigger. And maybe a section where the elephant is leaving the screen. So you can throw comments in as often as you want to kind of explain what's happening in your code, especially as your code gets longer. Comments can help you. So if I need to go back and change something, if I'm here where it's getting bigger or if it's leaving, I don't have to worry about these steps. So throwing in some comments, the, these three are going to be required and the others are optional, but they are a good idea. So I encourage you to think about it and you know, throw in a few extra comments. Explain your code as you go and it'll make it nice. You're ready to save this. If you haven't saved it yet, you might want to save it frequently, but you're going to do a save as, go into your student account. When you do a save as, you come over here. You're going to go into your computer, find your student account, and save it in there. And then also save it into the backpack, into your period folder for a grip.